Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Coffee Talk. And full disclosure, I did receive my copy of this game for free from the developer. Um, now this is a game that's already been out for a little while and it's already got lots of positive reviews on Steam. So um, this isn't like a brand new game. And I, honestly, it just sort of slipped my mind. It slipped behind a few other games. And I apologize for that. I definitely should have hit this right when it came out. But what are you gonna do? We're here now. We're gonna play it. We're gonna play this totally chillaxed game with this like grooving soundtrack. I'm feeling it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Let's press any key and continue. New profile. What's my name? My name is not Barista. <laughs> my name's not Barista. I do have an English degree, but that doesn't necessarily make me a barista. That's a insulting assumption okay i am insulted my name is mr jacobs just saying we're gonna go with that not yes not barista <laughs> welcome mr jacobs change barista what endless let's just let's just play the game i don't know what i'm doing i just got a achievement says welcome to coffee talk a game by toge Productions, seattle 2020 hey that's this year nice a city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is a, but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Hey, it rhymes. Nice. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Is it now? By Muhammad Fami and... Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. It is when the elves have left the forest to wait, there's elves to build their startups and their and their like tech their tech startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Right? So there's some dwarves and some elves. And when the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. It's starting to feel like Shadowrun. Shadowrun's awesome. I love Shadowrun. It's great. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. Uh, it is... That was an incomplete sentence, but that's fine. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Right. So there was some race war that happened before with the elves and the dwarves and stuff. Uh, most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some strange strangers. Oh, some strange strangers. <laughs> some strangers' memories. Talk about redundant. Uh, that was me, though, that, not the actual writing. That's cool, that guy's playing a guitar. I guess he's an elf because he's got those weird ears. And then there's like a cat person there. That seems odd. I don't know why that guy has some flowers underneath him. Some odd choices here. Um, there's a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Uh-huh. A people, a place where people share their stories and these are their stories. Dun dun. Here we go. Oh, we get the split screen. Classic. Classic pan, uh, classic uh, tilt down with the, uh, the split screen. Pressing any key. Here we go. What's up? Oh, she just appeared. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, her name's Freya. Freya's a cool name. I like it. What, she has a nine on her shoulder. Although, if you were looking at it upside down, it would be an 11. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Why does her face look like that? <laughs> what? What? Why? Huh? What happened? We've got a slight problem though. <gasps> what happened? Like that? That is so weird. That is so weird. But fine. Let's go on. My supplier made some logistical errors. <laughs> I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. <laughs> Uh, I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. Right. That is good to hear. What is this thing? What is this? All right, we can just go back and read it. Okay. Oh, and we've got a... we got a phone. Tomodachill. Uh, what? 
Oh, we can we can see what they're. So we're not friends with her, right? So this is like, all right, keeping track of how good of friends we are with all these people. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense, I suppose. I'm I'm with it. Oh, what else can we do? Brew pad. Oh, oh right. There's lots of stuff. Okay, that's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. Yep. Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor, so I'm used to taking things slow. Writer's block again. Is she gonna make those eyes again? That's what I—that's what I want. I want her to go like that again. That was great. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to? What just happened? Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso, espresso now? Just check your phone, okay? Right. All right, let's check my phone, okay? We need a triple shot espresso. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. What's what? I don't... What am I supposed to be... All right, so... I don't... I don't understand. I'm checking the phone. Uh, I literally have no idea how to make a triple shot espresso. So these are all the things I can make. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. Uh, shuffled. Oh, cool. We can switch the song. Right. Of course, I have no. I still have no idea what any of this means here. Um, okay, coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, I just add coffee. Right, coffee, coffee, coffee. I see. That's the. I see. Okay, I'm with it now. Um, right, we'll brew that up. I guess we're making coffee, 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 coffee. coffee. Uh, yeah. Serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Okay. She's drinking some coffee. <laughs> Her facial expressions are crazy. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. And what else are we doing? Where were we? You're planning to do something. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. I wrote a novel. I have a novel. I wrote it. It exists. I finished it and everything. It is a whole piece of literature. Well, it's pretty good. I like it. But, uh, you know, getting stuff published is hard. Uh, to quote, uh, one of the people in uh, the TV show Community, which is a great show. If you haven't watched it, you should definitely check it out. He says, my self-published novels are not going to publish themselves. But, I, you know, I don't, I'm not doing the self-publishing thing because it's like, you know, just vanity publishing and I don't have that much money. So, uh, you know, I send it off and hopefully someone sees it. And if they do, then great. And if not, then that's fine. Uh, lots of people have read it and it's, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, in case things go awry. <laughs> <laughs> I love her big facial expressions. They're crazy. Did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. Um, you know who owns the Evening Whispers? Gra Media. Gra! And they're also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it! Right? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator, so now I pitched my book idea. Yeah? Don't look at me like that. It was such a stupid thing to- so he shut you down? Yeah. Oh, right. He challenged you. Oh, cool! Get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That's cool! Lucky! Wish I could meet someone in an elevator and have them, like, you know, do the thing. That's the hard part. Yeah, I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's headlines. Whoops. Yeah. 
Shouldn't be doing that, man. That was last week. So you got three weeks. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Uh, is not too far from zero. Yeah, have you though? Have you? Well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it. Right. Yeah, classic writer stuff. Yeah, deleting everything that you wrote because you're not happy with it. Definitely happens. To polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. I know, you don't need to be so cynical. I can be cynical though, I want to be cynical. You want to find some inspiration. Yeah, I guess I am. Right, so what do I... So there's like a, whatever that is. Hello, good evening. We're here, miss? Yes, please, what does she want? What do I recommend? Here to meet your boyfriend, all right? No coffee. Uh, yeah, cool. So like a hot chocolate, I guess. Anything with chocolate in it, okay. Well, let's go look at my, let's look at my brew pad. Dark chocolate, what is this one? No, no, all right, this one. A warm and calming darkness. Um, right. Alright, so we want chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brew that bad boy. Yes. Making some, making some cocoa. Serve it. Yeah. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Yeah. So warm and chocolatey. Mmm, it is delicious. Right, so you're waiting for your boyfriend. Yes, he should be here. To three customers in one night. No way, man. This is totally empty. It's a totally empty place. Yeah, now that you mention it, is it good for having the coffee shop open only at night? Yes, it's the best. I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. Right. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? I'm I'm uh, independently wealthy and I just do this for fun. That's, that's what it, uh, there you go. See, that's the secret. I'm damn rich, yep. Don't worry about it, Mr. Jacobs can manage. I can manage, I'm the best and I'm rich and I'm running the store like a boss. Um, yeah, so you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. Are you a regular here? And in a coffee shop. That's a... I suppose that's fair enough. She's a pretty good writer, you know? You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. <laughs> She's making the face again. <laughs> oh! The, the face... I wish I could make that face. Am I close? I must be close. <laughs> oh my god. I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. To their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Yeah. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? I am. Well, I should be. Well, she should be. Oh, here comes the boyfriend. <laughs> the facial expressions here are just... They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Sorry to keep you waiting. What's up? How's it going? He would. Surprise me. I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? With milk, oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Uh, right? Sure. Let's have a look. What can we make? Um, what can we make with latte art? I don't, 
I don't actually know. We'll just do a cafe latte, shall we? So we go cafe, milk, milk. Yep, brew, sure. Am I doing some, am I doing some art? Let's do some latte art. Yeah, he asked for it. Oh, what do I, what? Right, so we're gonna try and figure out how to do some latte art, right? What is etch? Oh, there we go, I see. I don't, I don't really drink coffee, so like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but that's fine. What does this do? Okay, that's cool, I guess. All right, let's reset it. Yeah, okay, let's try this again. Let's go with, I don't know, man. Uh, we're gonna draw like a, a bird or something. Yeah, it's a bird. Or it's a Romulan warship. <laughs> That's much cooler. Um, and we're gonna... Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. There we go. Latte art. Nice. Just kind of looks like an E, though. Definitely just kind of looks like an E. Let's, let's, let's make the warship part of it look a little bit bigger. That's pretty cool. This is a very cool mechanic. I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely down. This is looking less like a Romulan warship, though. We need to, we need to give it, need to make it uh, a little bit more dangerous looking. There we go. There we go. Sure. What is invert, though? Um, sure. Okay. Serve it. Yeah, there you go. Have a Romulan warship. Here's your order. Haha, is this what you call latte art? Rude. That's so rude. Wow. Plus there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey's. Oh, I know his name now. But I know his name. I'm Bailey's. Cool. Where are my manners? I'm. Yeah, my name is Lua. What's up, Lua? And that's Freya. I'm Mr. Jacobs. What's up? Here's the writer for the Evening Whisperers. Yeah, she totally is. Yeah, I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. Oh, handy. Caricatures and infographics for the paper. Okay. I assume you're in contact with Steve. Yeah, we know. We all know Steve. We all know him. He's the best. He's in design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly, right? Not the worst. Okay. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. Uh, are lost drunks or criminals? Fair enough. They're easy to handle. Are they? I'm good with my fists? Oh, apparently my coffee making is really good. Yeah, I, uh... I personally have zero skill in making coffee because... I don't drink coffee. I just don't drink it. I never liked it. I don't like coffee at all. I know that's an unpopular opinion. Lots of people will say that they like coffee. It's not that I dislike caffeine. I love caffeine, but I just don't like it in hot bean water form. Um, it's just not my style. So yeah, I'm welcome. Yeah. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Yeah. Get to writing, man. Yeah. Start writing. Apparently my name used to be barista but I changed it to Mr. Jacobs oh not far just over at the table in the corner next to the windows that's my spot uh, right so she's gone she leaves and now we've just got these two they're gonna stay so I'm listening in on these, con these people's conversations so I can get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. Ah. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. Ah. Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. That's a weird way to put that, but that's fine. 
I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. Yes, you should. <laughs> about how to deal with annoying clients. Yeah, punch them in the face. Right in their stupid face. I do have my own, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Right? Yeah. Um, so they're just sitting there staring at each other? Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? What? About what? What happened? A lot. Alright. Um, they won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. Oh, so there's some racism going on. Racism! More or less the same. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. Oh. You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. Oh, right. But I can manage. But still! You know what they said about you last night? I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Yeah, rude. Just the same old stuff. Normally about how elves are unholy creatures, about our immortality. Are they immortal as well? Nothing. If you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. So she is a succubus. Right. Yeah. The end of our relationship. What? Why do your families have to agree? Uh, we can just continue the way we've always been. Um, right, so this is not happy. You won't get permission because you're too old. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. Yeah. You'll lose your immortality. Right. Of course I do. Aww. Aww, this is so nice. Trust me, we can do this together. We'll talk later. So she's gonna roll out. Aww. Poor girl. That's fine, man. Did you, yep, I hope it has a happy ending too. Man, those are definitely some bedroom eyes right there. Do I have any alcohol? No. Uh, maybe. He'll take a green tea latte, I guess. Um, there we go. Green tea. Milk, milk. There we go. Making that green tea latte. Living that hashtag green tea latte life. Oh yeah, let's do the latte art. Nice! Yeah. Okay. What if we do it that way? And then it goes that way. Cool. And then we etch it. And then we make it like all weird looking. This is not working. Let's reset it. All right. Okay. Let's pour some milk. Yeah. And we'll do that. And we would just be absolutely filling this thing up. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we've got our thing. And then we want to... Yeah. I want to make... I'm trying to make like a weird tree thing. I don't know. This is definitely the most interesting part of the gameplay here. Um, is making these this weird latte art. Let's... Let's make it go down that way. Yeah, I'm good at latte art. Yes! I'm the best at latte art. Who knows what I'm making? But it definitely looks like some sort of weird tentacly thing, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, 
Kind of looks like, um, what's his name from the thing? That's like a cool face there. I'm pretty, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. There's definitely a face there and like a, a screamy voice and stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool. Let's serve it. There you go, I made you some latte art. Oh yes, and you just drank it. Thank you for this. Cool. Am I married? What? Yes, I am. Wah! I do. Right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go look at the description. Because we're about 26 minutes in and it's about that time. So let's go look at the description. Alright, Coffee Talk is a coffee brewing and heart-to-heart -heart talking simulator about listening to fantasy-inspired modern people's problems and helping them by serving up a warm drink or two. Developed by Toge or Togi or I don't know how to pronounce that, but Productions. Um, it's got 340 very positive reviews. Um, you can download the demo so you can play it yourself if you want. That's awesome. I love I love when developers uh, trust their game enough to just put it up for people to play. That's great. It costs about $14.84, and by about I mean exactly. It's on special. Um, I can definitely recommend it. It's got a nice chill soundtrack. Um, it, it's definitely like a nice, comfortable game. Listening to people's problems. Oh, we already got that. Uh, picks lives as humanly as possible while having a cast that is more than just humans. It's cool, man. Tales of people from alternative Seattle, a city where elves, orcs, mermaids, and many other fantasy races live together with humans in a water, modern world we will all find familiar. Branching storylines is cool. 90s anime-inspired pixel art visuals and chill vibes. Um, selection of jazzy and lo-fi music and an experience to make you think feel rest both your body and soul it's very cool so let's have a look at some of these reviews um yep so like like i said most of these are positive i love this game don't know what that says this character is lovable the, the aesthetic is beautiful um my reviews yes but i enjoyed my experience overall but won't think about this game for long after i feel right um after the playing the game, I felt like the writing is all about common problems of our real world. Within those two hours, I've read about racial issues, immigration problems, parent-child viral virus spread, and meeting app. Right. Right, yeah, so they're just complaining about what people are talking about. It is, this is a very cool game. This is a very, very cool game, yeah. Most people are like, loving it. So, and I and I would agree with that. Let's see, they've got some awards, which is cool. Let's have a look at Toad Productions. Um, so they also made Infect Infectinator, right? That had, uh, when the past was around. Oh, that's interesting. Narrative. Oh, these are, these aren't by them though, are they? I feel like these aren't by the same people. Narrative games, so... Toge Productions. Are these... These must be games that they've made. Yeah. Hold on, let's just have a look at a Raven monologue. Oh yeah, it's, oh, so it's published by Toge Productions. Okay, so, they, so they're a publisher as well as a developer. Right. That definitely makes sense. I'm definitely behind that. Um, oh, they've got a few things. Oh, we played She and the Light Bear. I remember that. That was good fun. I like that game. That was that, that game was super weird. That had a, a really weird vibe to it. Um, yeah. So cool. Some, some so it's another narrative story with uh, some feeling, some heart, and all sorts of stuff like that. Definitely worth checking out. You can click on the link in the description. You can download the Coffee Talk demo and play it yourself before you buy it. Um, and yeah, this is a cool game. If you're, if you're looking for a game where you make some coffee and talk to people and find out about their problems, then this is definitely the game for you. It's got a nice lo-fi, um, soundtrack. The color palette's, uh, not super, like, in your face. Um, you know, they've done a lot with the things. The facial expressions on this, uh, Freya's face were definitely hilarious. Like, absolutely hilarious. You know, just crazy but um oh you can rotate the thing i didn't know how to rotate the thing that's fine though i should have been able to figure that out that's cool though the latte art is definitely fun and it's nice and relaxing it is a very cool game so uh you should check it out it's on steam and uh otherwise like and subscribe leave me a comment down below 
and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.